Well hello there everybody and welcome to the latest video. In this one today I'm going to be showing you how to install the expanded dinosaur behavior by mod author Kyo Denik. Um, basically a lot of people have been requesting that I do an install guide for this um, mod and it is a very good mod. I've used it myself numerous times in the past and um, thankfully um, Kyo Denik's updated a few files to make things a lot simpler for people who can't use Cobra tools. In this video today I'm going to show you how to install the mod with no other mods installed um, just for the base game. I'll also show you how to install this along with Ultimate Mixed Errors, Terrain Tools and the Dino Behaviors all rolled into one and that doesn't affect any other mods that, you in, that you've got installed like Expanded Eye Islands, um, any of the new species, replacement skins, environment rework, they remain unaffected. Okay, and I'll also show you how to inject the files yourself using Cobra or Python. That's more of the um, on the expert side of things. So um, if you're confident with that, we'll go into that at the end. So then you can create your own uh, crazy combinations of mods. Um, but then there's doing it this way, there's kind of three difficulty levels the first difficulty level being basically drag and drop files the second difficulty level will be dragging and dropping files but you've got the extra mods that come along with it so you kind of need to know what their them mods do as well and then the final step is injecting which is <clears throat> what most people find to be quite difficult or cobra tools simply don't work for them so Hopefully by doing it this way, I've provided a good spread of options to get this installed um, <clears throat> with with the mods that you desire. Okay, so first up then, let's have a little um, little talk about what this actually does. Um, it has received recent updates and everything. Um, and the overview says the mod expands the dinosaur behaviors and fixes existing behaviors to make dinosaurs more diverse and less stilted and improve gameplay. This is done by adding much more depth and variety to existing mechanics and adding some all new mechanics to the game. Um, note, if you're updating from an older version of ACSE, remove that one before updating to 1.1. That's fine. We'll go into that. So first thing you want to do is go to your game install location, which is right here. OK, now the layout of these files is exactly the same on Epic Games and Steam. It's exa exactly the same. You might have a couple of extra little DLL files, but these three folders are all you need to be concerned with. OK, so on Steam, on Epic Games, find where this folder is, Jurassic World Evolution, so that you can see these three folders here, okay? Next up, you want to go to the mod install page, um, which is here, I've linked this, and on this link it tells you everything that this mod does, okay? I'm not going to go through and read all of that, um, because that is um, quite a lot. Down below as well, I have created a playlist on my channel of um, K.O. Denik's um, Expanded Behavior Showcase. This is K.O. Denik's own videos uh, showing what the dinosaurs do and um, just little showcases of um, how they behave with the mod installed, okay? I'm not going to go through and do all of them. I'd rather leave it to him to do them. Um, and you'll also need ACSE 1.1. Whichever way you do this, you're going to need ACSE 1.1 and that is linked. So first thing you want to do then, go to the mod page, go to files. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to install this for just the base game with no other mods. So bearing in mind, if you're using terrain tools um, or mixed errors or anything like that, um, this is not the version that you want. If you've got no other mods installed and the only thing you want to install is expanded behavior with no other mods, um, then this is the version. So I'm going to show you how to do this first. Um, you want to get the expanded behavior pre-injected vanilla Jurassic World Evolution version. Let me just make this clear. No other mods, just this one. Um, your expanded island should be fine. Your new species should be fine. Um, but terrain tools will be eliminated so will mixed errors if you use this okay but if you just want expanded dinosaur behaviors nothing else this is the file for you so let's get this manual download um, and the slow download yep it's all good um, <laughs> this will only take a few seconds 15 megabytes and um, here it comes okay so we're downloading this now this is just the um, pre-injected basic version of it and the readme is fairly simple 
Um, this version is just for the unmodded version. Okay, copy both folders, content zero and expanded behavior to your game directory in Jurassic World Evolution Win64 OVL data. So go back to your install folder here, Win64 inside OVL data. Yep, and drop in content zero and expanded behavior. And that just goes into there. Okay. And it says, obviously, look, it already has a file named main OVL. That is fine. That's that's exactly what you expect to see. Just choose replace. And um, then also make sure that you download this, the ACSE 1.1.zip. Now, if you're not using 1.1, um, make sure that you go into your OVL data. If you're using 1.0, right click and delete. I'd recommend doing this anyway, if you're not sure, and get the ACSE 1.1 and just drop that in there too. That is it. That is now installed for the base game with no other mods. Okay, so that is all good. So next up then, I will show you how to install the, um, the mod for use with ultimate mixed errors and terrain tools without using uh, Python or Cobra tools. Okay, so the version that you want to find next is the expanded behavior pre-injected UME and ETT version. That is the ultimate mixed errors, which allows you to use all the Jurassic Park um, era of buildings in Jurassic World and vice versa and the um, enhanced terrain tools. Yeah. So uh, bearing in mind, this will not affect expanded islands, um, any invisible walls mods, expanded past pylons fences, any new species, new props, replacement skins, environment rework will all remain unaffected by this installation. Okay, so just bear that in mind. So we'll do manual download on this one. Okay, and it is the expanded behavior pre-injected UME and ETT version. Okay. Thank you for uploading this, mate. <laughs> Chaodenic. Awesome stuff. Um, so we'll wait for that to come in, which should just take, you know, a few seconds um, as to be expected. And this is exactly how it looks. OK, um, so exactly the same as before. We go to OVL data. Yep, I'll delete the old expanded behavior. But obviously, if you're installing this for the first time, this is how your folder will look. Ignore any other folders that you see. They are just a few other um, rudimentary mods that I'm using to add new species or new um, props. Don't worry about them. Okay, as long as you can see these content folders, then you're in the right OVL data folder. Okay, so all you need to do then for ultimate mix there is enhanced terrain tools um, and the expanded behavior all rolled into one drag and drop these from the zip that you've just downloaded and choose the replace main OVL. There you go. Now you have um, expanded behaviors, pre-injected um, ultimate mixed errors and enhanced terrain tools all installed. And if you already have expanded islands, invisible walls, expanded past pylon fences, new species, new props, replacement skins or environment rework, um, none of them will be affected by this that will not be affected at all. So that is all good. Hopefully for people who can't use Cobra tools, that will be sufficient. There is other combinations on there um, of mods, but that seems to be the most popular um, combination um, for use with this mod. Okay, so next up then, let's move on to how to inject the files using Cobra tools. Say if you've got other mods which affect this main OVL, this is one of the main um, files that you need to inject files to. If you get other mods which overwrite this main OVL, then your um, other mods that involve the main OVL will be removed. Now, if you don't know what you're doing here, then I'd recommend just getting this version that I've showed you or the vanilla game version, depending on which version you prefer. But if you have other mods which affect the main OVL, and there is a few, uh, there is many actually, then you are going to want to inject the enhanced behavior, um, expanded behavior yourself. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go back to files. And if you want to do the injectable versions of it, do the manual download right here. Download this and uh, hit the slow download. 
Obviously this is much smaller because it doesn't contain any OVL files. So we just download that. Okay, read me right there. Okay, so uh, inject all the files within content zero into this file on your PC, into the main OVL. Okay, so let's back up out of that. And inside here, we need to inject all of these within Cobra tools. So if you don't know how to use Cobra tools or Python, there are numerous guides out there. I really don't want to be sitting here doing um, my own guide on, you know, then going into Python and Cobra tools. That's a separate guide altogether. I'm not kidding. That is a separate guide. So um, let's go into here, open up your OVL tool. Okay. And um, it's not the archive editor that I want. So I have actually gone into the wrong folder there myself. Um, the OVL tool that you're looking for is simply this one here that says OVL tool. That is it. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to open, find your game install location. So we want um, Steam games for me, Steam apps, common, Jurassic World Evolution. It's not necessarily going to be in the same place as yours. Now, bearing in mind, no matter what other mods you've got installed, using this method, it will not overwrite your existing mods. I can't guarantee there won't be conflicts between mods, but it won't overwrite the mods. Okay. Um, like I say, unless you really know what you're doing, um, I wouldn't recommend doing this method. Okay. This is, this is for somebody who knows what they're doing. So I'm doing my best to explain it well. But here we go. So we've gone into Jurassic World Evolution, Win64, OVL data, content zero, and it's this main OVL. Choose to load this within the OVL tool of Cobra Tools Master. Okay, like I say, there's separate guides for that. And you will get some results once it once it does. This will take anywhere up to about a minute because there is a lot of different files in here. Um Yes, and just um, just wait for that one second, okay? While uh, while that does. Bearing in mind, if you want any um, advice on how to install any of the other mods that I've um, just mentioned in the video, um, I will link the uh, install guide for all of those as well. So if you want to do that, then go check that out in the link down below. So as you can see now, it has loaded. And what we want to do is we want to stretch this out like so and all we do is we get these files and drag them over to here okay that is it just drag them out the zip over onto this yep and uh in the background um once i minimize that one second it says they're look, injecting 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 all of them have injected into this main ovl so all you need to do from there is to save and find your OVL data content zero. Make sure you are in content zero because every one of these content folders has a main OVL. So make sure you're in content zero, find that main OVL and save over it. Main OVL exists, do you want to replace? Yes, yes I do. It is now writing the OVL. Just wait for that to um, kind of chug along um, and it is done. The main OVL is overwritten and uh, you can now close the OVL tool. And since they are now injected, just go back in this zip folder, get the expanded behaviors folder here and just drop it into OVL data and you are now done. And what do you know? That is it. We are done with that. Um, I hope this guide has helped. If you need any further help, please uh, go to the comments down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible a uh, big thank you to uh, kaya denik for giving me some help behind the scenes just clearing things up and also creating the awesome um the ume and terrain tools version that's awesome mate yeah that's a giant favor to the community who cannot use cobra tools or python um for one reason or another okay so Thank you very much for watching everybody um subscribe if you haven't done already uploading new species short showcases all the time um yeah and uh full new species showcases not going to drag on for too long um yeah we like say any problems let me know down below hope you have a nice day everybody catch you all soon okay bye bye